South Canterbury, Our Region, Our People, Our Success, 1864-2014, to The Timaru Herald, timaruherald.co.nz, 150 years, 1864-2014, to This is a special supplement newspaper that they've printed to promote their 150 years of producing the Timaru Herald. Good morning folks, Ron Bishop here from Timaru, New Zealand. I'm a promoter and motivator of people and today I want to talk to you about the Timaru Herald. It's been going 150 years and they're celebrating their 150 years birthday this week. And they've produced a newspaper, a special supplement uh, with a lot of businesses and I want to video those businesses and give them some extra publicity because they, the businesses in this Timaru district are the ones that keep the paper going and they keep us going and they, and they promote uh, the town and, and, and I think they need to be uh, get recognised. So I'm going to go through this supplement paper and I'm going to video each each page for you, okay? So come with me. Page two of the supplement, we have Port's Creation Impetus to More Than a Century of Prosperity. And there's a <coughs> photograph of Prince Charles who visited the Craig Ed Dyson School in the 1970s. Over here alongside it, we've got Ballantines, <coughs> Timaru's connection for 130 years. Ballantines have been in Timaru servicing the South Canterbury District for 130 years. And there's their advertisement on the um, page 3 of the supplement. On page 4 of the supplement, we have a drilling company is a world leader, Washington's Exploration. There's a photograph there of Bill Washington and, and Steve Pilcher, who are partners in the Washington Exploration. And they've taken a whole page here. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, by getting the supplement. Over here alongside them is another old company called Hadley and Brunton Limited. Family company focuses on South Canterbury. They've been around for a long, long time. And here's some of their, this is their advertisement. 1906 to the present. There was a law firm established in 1867 and its name was Grierson, Dorman and Co. And here's a photograph, this is their ad here. And here are the partners in Grierson, Dorman and Co, barristers and solicitors. Uh, on the left there we've got Tim Grierson, uh, Simon Dorman, Craig O'Connor, Ken Grave, and Andrew McRae. That's their advertisement. Timaru is well known for the Caroline Bay Association, who have been running a carnival here for many, many years. People of Timaru take charge over local treasure. And here's their advertisement. A whole page there. The Caroline Bay Carnival. No city could survive without the Timaru police, from single constable to regional base. So here's the Timaru police page, and it's got some old photographs there. The Timaru police in 1891. Standing on the left, mounted Constable Robert Crawford, Constable Tarrant, Constable Hallett, Constable Beddick, and seated from left, the detective. New Zealand Police, serving the South Canterbury community since 1859. That's a long time ago. Road Safety, South Canterbury. Here we are. There's, an, there's a whole page here on road safety and issues since the early days of motoring. Okay. Having a few drinks, plan a safe ride home. That's, that's a good, good photograph there. Of the old man on the horse and the little dog. Road safety. Timaru is very proud of its two high schools, two main high schools. Timaru Boys High School there, excellence in ed education. There's an old photograph there of the school when it first opened. 
And there's their ad, the whole page there, where young men thrive. And of course over here we have the Timaru Girls High School, a school for all seasons. And there's some old photographs there of the girls in the early stages of the, the school. Enrolling now for 2015, Timaru Girls High School. There you are, it's all in the supplement for the Timaru Herald. Page 12, Alpine Energy. From South Canterbury Electric Power Board to Alpine Energy. There you are. South Canterbury's electricity demand is moving is a moving target and the board at Alpine Energy have an eye on today and the, uh, the, and the other on a bright future. That's their full page advertisement there. Caring for our community. Over here we have uh, the South Canterbury District Health Board. And there's their ad on the left-hand side. The chairman's got some words to say there. Um, then and now. Enhancing health and independence of the people of South Canterbury. The South Canterbury District Health Board. Page 14, St. John. Meeting community needs for more than 100 years. There's an old... Uh, look at cart there, which is which would have been the ambulance in those early days, and another old ambulance here. Look at this, okay. But there it is. There's the ad, St John's, Geraldine, Mackenzie, Tamuka, Timaru, Twizel, and Waimati. Alongside them is the Iraqi Business and Tourism, proudly supporting and growing the Timaru district for 15 years. There they are, the Iraqi Development, Business and Tourism, all in green. Congratulations to the Timaru Herald for 150 years, fabulous years. Timaru District Council, council and newspaper have grown together. There's some early photographs of the council. History makers, a photograph of early Timaru councillors in the South Canterbury Museum. It's all here in the Timaru Herald Supplement. There's a photograph there of the Timaru District Council meeting and some earlier ones as well. Well worth having a look at this. Timaru District, a great place to live. Another company that's been going a long time, Hilton Haulage celebrates 20 years. There's a photograph of the first truck there. Uh, Sid McCauley and Angus Murray in uh, 1977 pictured with a Mercedes-Benz truck, the first brand new truck owned by Hilton Haulage. This same truck was repurchased by the company in 2010 and fully restored. There you are, Hilton Haulage. Page 18, McKenzie Group Limited. Integrated service and friendly advice. Company that's been around a long time. Here they are, Menzies. Menzies Plumbers. Established in 1919, Menzies. Commercial, industrial and residential. Visit our showroom. Alongside them, we have Harcourts. 126 year link to the land. There's their building there. Their offices in Timaru today. And down here we have the team. Big history, big team and big results. And they've got photographs of all the agents there. Harcourts. Page 20 has a row of fine looking gentlemen there. Paul Wilkins Tractors Limited. Top service, a priority. There's the team. Here's some more close-up photographs of the management team there. Paul Wilkins Tractors Limited. And alongside them on page 21 we have the Timaru Herald. And there's a photograph of the first, what does it say? The Herald's first press was a hand-operated Albion. Albion in use from 1864 to 1907. There it is, the old press. Some more of it there, and some early pictures, the first edition. 
Come celebrate the Herald's 150th anniversary. There you are. The Timaru Herald. Graft and irrigation. Precision irrigation key to the modern farm. There you are. On the left-hand side, we have the general manager of graft and irrigation, photograph of Kerry Turner. The team at graft and irrigation. There they are, all the boys. Some more photographs there. Graft and irrigation. Design, sales, installation and service. On page 22 of the supplement. Gordon Handy Machinery Limited. Proud to be involved in the future of New Zealand agriculture. And there's Gordon Handy there. More of his photographs there. He's the John Deere agent. John Deere. Gordon Handy Machinery Limited. Page 24, we have Canterbury Long Run Roofing, Timaru. Roofing com company has it covered. There we are. There's a photograph there of Regional Manager Canterbury Long Run Roofing, Timaru, Neil McRae. Neil is the owner of Canterbury Long Run Roofing, Timaru. There's their advertisements down there. Page 25. Mainland min Minerals. Business with a clear focus. Dairy companies. Dairy, dairy products. There we are. Congratulations to the Timur Herald on reaching 150 years from Mainland Minerals. All there on page 25 of the supplement. Page 26. Our region, our people. And there's a page there with some of the early photographs that the Herald printed many years ago. They're all there on page 26, is it, of the supplement. Page 27, Holland Suzuki Timaru, family business making its mark. There you are. It was started... High Flyer goes into business. The founder of Holland Suzuki, Mick Holland. There's a photograph of him there. And the family business for over 50 years starts with a passion of motorcycles. And now they're into motor cars. Holland's Suzuki. Or Suzuki Holland's. Another old company, McRae Way Homes. Innovation housing for more than 50 years. McRae Way Homes, and we've got a lot of photographs there, early photographs and, and photographs to take. Full build option home package, new home designs. McRae Way, Nick Jade Bradley. Give them a call at 0800 627 239. There you are, McRae Way Homes. Alongside them, we have AJ Ramsey Real Estate, licensed agents. Right, so here's A.J. Ramsey Real Estate. Some old photos from our archives and up-to-date images of our current staff. Look at them all. From all around the South Canterbury District. L.J. Hooker, Harvey's Property, People in Property. L.J. Hooker. Right, we're up to page 30 of the 48-page supplement. And it's the Iraqi Polytechnic, Qualifications to Open Future Doors. Iraq, there's the Iraqi uh, Chief Executive, Alex Cabrera. And there's some early photographs there of the development of the Iraqi Polytech. Enroll now with the Iraqi Polytech, 0800 426 725. Alongside them, we have new, new Venture adds value to locally grown grain. Farmer's Mill. There's the Farmer's Mill there. Tells you all about it. Some early photographs, the old windmill there. Pars Windmill. Photograph there. Farmer's Mill, delivering the goods. 32, Tekapo Springs, Vision Creates Stunning Leisure Park. There you are, they're building a new leisure park there. Tekapo Springs. Escape, Fun and Relax, Tekapo Springs. Alongside them on page 63 is South Canterbury Toyota. Experience, knowledge and a full range of services. 
Speedway Motors Limited. There's the er one of the early buildings there. South Canterbury Toyota. Believe. Warehouse Liquor appears on page 34. Independence brings benefit. Okay, the Warehouse Liquor Store. There's their ads. Warehouse Liquor. Warehouse Liquor. There's some handsome-looking handsome people all standing there. This is Grant Jenkins' painting. Grant Jenkins, family firm, has a history of quality workmanship. New Zealand Master Painters of the Year 2011. There you are. There they all are, the boys from Grant Jenkins. Port FM appear on page 36 of the Timur Hill Supplement. Port FM rules the waves. There's Brent and Rona. Brent and Rona, the first 24 years have flown by and it's been a fantastic journey. And here's a photograph of them outside their offices. In Wilcombe Street. Here's one of the early uh, little B BWs they had. Meet the Port FM team in, in 2014. There's all the people there to contact all their names. Alongside them on page... 37, family business proud to wear the toolshed name. Timaru Toolshed, Sprague and Sexton service station. That's where it all began. There's an early aeroplane there. Okay, it's now called the Toolshed. And there's some early photographs there of the Toolshed. Hyundai South Canterbury, well-established car company, a strong community focus. <clears throat> John Bradley Hyundai. Talk to us about a field day's deal. There you are. You want a Hyundai car? Go to South Canterbury Hyundai. Alongside them on page 39 is Apex, Apex Environmental. Right on top of wastewater treated treatment issues. There they are. Apex Environmental. Industrial controls, committed to the region's growth. They're the two gentlemen there involved. Their names are Dave McIver on the left and Dave Stickings are very focused on the future of the company. Industrial controls. Alongside them on page 41, we have South Island Organ Company. Dedicated company, unique in New Zealand. Some photographs there of the South Island Organ Company. Many people have been associated with the South Canterbury Drama League. There's some early photographs, the dramatic heart of South Canterbury. It's all there on page 42 of the Timaru Herald Supplement. Some upcoming shows there, June, July, September and October. Alongside them on page 42, Three, we have v Fabric Galaxy. Making your windows look fabulous is their passion. There you are, Fabric Galaxy. It's all about curtains and stuff like that. Okay, for the house, Fabric Galaxy. Now turn your attention to education, the Craighead Diocesan School. Following your dreams. All right, there's an er some early photographs there of the Craighead Girls School. Craighead Diocesan School. Alongside them is Morton and Company on page 45. There's one of their early buildings there. The was the Wherry's Hotel. And there it is today. Young men with ambition, real estate, residential property management, Morton and Company Limited. Land potato chips. Some photographs there. 
Dream realised. Raymond and Adrian Bowen at the official opening of Heartland Potato Chips in 2010 with the MP for Rangitata, Joe Goodhue. There they are. Farmer of the Year. Paddock to Packet, a winning concept. It's all there on page 46 of the Timaru Herald Supplement. Travel. Harvey World Travel. Cruising then in, wow, look at that, a big cruise ship there, Harvey World Travel, cruise in the evening, want to go on a cruise, go and see Harvey World Travel, finally page 48, the Timaru Herald, Friday June the 13th 2014, the real deal in print, Two smiling gentlemen there, Damon and Mike Tuddy, in a photo, photo published in the Timur Herald 2010 Business News Review. There they are. Happy guys. Our latest digital press from Fuji Xerox. Get the real deal from corporate print in Timaru. So there you have it folks, this is Ron Bishop from Timaru Tourist Promotions. My company Timaru Tourist Promotions is committed to promoting Timaru. And the reason I did this supplement and give the, the advertisers uh, some publicity is because it's the, it's, the, it's the businesses in the district that promote the Timaru district. The businesses are most important and I believe in giving them some free advertising and I did this uh, out of my own heart and I've got a company called Timaru Tourist Promotions and I've also got a website called Timaru Directory and all my videos go on the Timaru Directory and you'll be seeing lots of videos about promoting Timaru there's different ways I do it and this is just one of them so I hope you enjoy your, enjoyed it uh, and I'll see you shortly okay this Ron Bishop coming to you live from the Timaru Directory website bye bye that's timarudirectory.co.nz timarudirectory.co.nz Google it. We're number one on Google. Timaru Directory.